Good morning friends. This video shows steps of mega MAHD that can deliver more ozone than multipass and even more ozone than renal filter EBU. This can be called a mini EBU, special 540 ml IAOS vacutainer bottles with high vacuum and SS diffuser tubes are used. The vacuum is very very high and the tubes are stainless steel for bubbling of ozone into the blood. The steps are self explanatory and a complete detailed commentary is given below. The surgeon starts with opening a bottle of insulin. The insulin is 1000 units per ml that is 500 units in 5000 units in 5 ml. We extract 4000 ml of this heparin first and this 4000 ml will be used to prime the bottle. As I am doing this procedure for myself and touching only my blood to get a better tactile feel I am not using gloves. 4 ml is taken the bottle is opened, we have three openings, a small circle, a big circle and a plus. Through the small circle, the heparin syringe is pushed in, you can see the vacuum is pulling in the heparin. We have to hold the needle to pull out the syringe. If we pull out the syringe and the needle stays accidentally, the bottle will lose all the vacuum. Now the remaining 1 ml of heparin is diluted with 5 ml of distilled water and the same is used to prime the drip set. The transfusion set is opened and from one end which is kept low, the other end is kept high and this diluted heparin is pushed in till it reaches to the bottom to the bulb and this would line the interior of the set. We lock the set. We now take a two syringes are already locked and kept ready for taking ozone. We open a butterfly set and to this set, we add a dash of heparin to prime the butterfly. Once that is done and the system is locked, we are ready for mini section. The drip set is passed through the stand. We now open up 
seals to clearly and uh, expose the big circle for the transfusion set and a plus for heparin essential to see that all three spots are identifiable before we start the work now we take a stand and we pass this through the stand the set will be inserted into the bottle after we hang it on the stand and bring it out bring the bottle out to get it at a good level i'm adjusting the stand to my comforts we are using a very thin needle butterfly or a scalpel set 18 or 19 g veins are identified mostly we get the veins in one shot occasionally we may take more than a shot to get the vein here the first pick is not in the vein and the amount of blood that is coming out of the vein is not satisfactory because the needle is very thin i am not finding or feeling any pain so the second spot is chosen where a better vein is there and the vein is identified the butterfly is inserted into the vein and the moment it reaches the vein lumen it starts getting out blood the set is pushed into the big circle of the bottle and the bottle part is opened and the blood travels through the set because of vacuum it will go against the gravity go up and then come down into the bottle here we are using 100 micrograms per ml of hydrogen of our ozone and so the regulator is set appropriately we are using a mark 9 ozone machine the ozone syringes are checked tested by wall position is tested and we start filling up both the ozone machines simultaneously in this position ozone fills up the two syringes together at the same time and then after the syringes collect 60 ml each meaning 12000 micrograms of ozone collected the needle is inserted to the third part of the bivalve and this inserted into the bottle will ensure that the first pass of 12000 micrograms will enter the bottle we wait till about 150 ml to 200 ml are filled in the bottle and once the desired volume is reached the inflow is closed and the 
ozone syringe is injected and the gas flows into both is put into the stand two syringes including the bivalve bi are removed the blood has already assumed a cherry red appearance the needle is left there as an air vent and the blood starts flowing we now push a needle with a close by valve for subsequent addition of ozone into the same bottle each syringe will give 6000 micrograms of my uh, 6000 micrograms total ozone and 5 to 6 will give 30 to 36 1000 micrograms already 12000 micrograms have been ozonized now in quick succession we will be adding close to 38000 micrograms of ozone to make it 50000 micrograms per patient per session once the syringe is connected we have to move this by wall and push and close the small shake the blood becomes red by which time the second syringe is full as the blood is flowing we keep adding more and more ozone and the blood gets ozonized well this hyperbaricity along with the air exit through the diffuser tube ensure that we can put in close to 8 syringes the bivalve well position must always be correct and slight shake will ensure that the blood is cherry red the complete i am actually explaining the procedure to a couple of visiting doctors so every step is going slow once the 250 ml of blood goes into my body the transfusion tube is removed and the blood is allowed to flow back into the body it will flow up to the level of the heart the blood color may not become as red as it does in iaos glass bottle direct bubbling membrane free extra corporeal blood oxygen ozonization but there is a distinct change in the blood color and we have administered 60 to 70000 micrograms in a very short time of 12 minutes which 
is comparable to the renal filter, plastic filter, EBU systems. Here, we have no destroyer is used. There is no ozone smell in the room. And the entire ozone is mixed in the blood and is going back into my body. Yesterday, I had a feeling that I had caught one of the newer versions of COVID because of the loss of smell and the body ache that I had. I had this procedure only this morning. I am recording this video at 10 p.m. and without any antibiotics or medications, I feel extremely energetic and fit enough to perform two eboos and one nutraceuticals which are scheduled for tomorrow. Once the blood goes in, we have to put tight bandages to avoid accidental bleeding in case these bandages are removed before 4 hours. Because my brain, the, the patient or subject, in this case me, is instructed to keep it on for 4 hours. For further details of this procedure, please contact this WhatsApp number. No calls, message this number only. Thank you. Have a nice day.